بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Continuing on in our lessons uh, in Kitab tahara the chapter of purification we were talking and discussing the manners to observe when entering the restroom the manners to observe when in the restroom and the manners to observe when leaving the restroom all of this is in accordance with Islamic Sharia this is in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that's how we know these adab that's how we know these manners and it shows us the completeness of Islam that Islam has a prescription for everything and helps us to deal with our daily lives in every which way. An Abi Ayyub al Ansari radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ida taytum al ghaita fala tastaqbalu al qiblata bil ghaiti wala wala bawlan ولا تستدبروها ولكن شرقوا أو غربوا وقال أبو أيوب فقدمنا شم فوجدنا مراهيد قد بنيت نحو كعبة فننحرف عنها ونستغفر الله عز وجل رواه بخاري ومسلم in this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that was narrated by Abi Ayub al Ansari رضي الله تعالى عنه he said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said if one of you needs to use the restroom and atatum al ghait al ghait here is in refer is in reference in general to needing to use the uh, restroom here so if one of you needs to go to the restroom then he should not face the qibla you know face the direction that we pray in towards mecca nor should he turn his back towards it when he is urinating or he's defecating. However, he should go to face the east and the west of it. So he should turn in the opposite direction of the Qibla and not face the Qibla nor turn their back towards the Qibla when they're using the restroom. And then Abu Ayyub, he said, the narrator, he said that we were traveling to Sham, meaning like uh, Iraq and Syria. And he said, we found uh, places in which the restrooms were built and they were facing the, the, the Kaaba. They were facing the Qibla. So what we did is we turned ourselves uh, uh, sideways uh, when we used the restroom. So that way we weren't facing the Kaaba and we weren't turning our backs to the Kaaba when we were using the restroom. And then we would seek uh, forgiveness in Allah the Almighty. In this hadith of the Prophet وسلم, there are many benefits. One of the benefits, uh, Shaykh Ali, Ali Bassam, rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentioned, he said the prohibition of facing the Qibla or turning one's back towards it when they're using the restroom. He said another benefit is that it is a command to face uh, otherwise, to, to you know, other than facing it or turning one's back when they're using the restroom, that they should uh, change directions, you know, so that way they're not facing or turning their back towards the Qibla when they're using the restroom. Another benefit in this hadith is related to the hikmah of this hadith that the Prophet وسلم, and some of the wisdom in that is it shows a ta'zim of the Kaaba it shows that uh, a, a great respect respect and reverence of the Kaaba and that out of respect for it you know we're not facing it or or turning our backs to it when we're using the restroom And another last benefit related to this hadith, the Shaykh mentioned, Rahmatullah he said, and what is meant by istighfar here in this hadith is that he made istighfar in his heart, not on his tongue.
And why is this relevant for us? He said, لِأَنَّ ذِكْرَ اللَّهِ بِلِسَانِ فِي حَالَ الْكَشْفِ الْعَوْرَى وَقَضَى الْحَاجَ مَمْنُوعَ So that's a very important faida or benefit that we, we gain from this hadith. He said, and the reason this is, that he mentioned it in his heart, is because remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your tongue by making istighfar and so forth, when a person is naked, when a person has no clothing on, or they're using the restroom, it's prohibited. So this is a benefit for us to know that when we are in that state, that we should not remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with our tongues. We should not make dhikr with our tongues, but rather we should have that dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, in our hearts, bi-idhnillah ta'ala, and anything I said that was correct was from uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, anything I said that was incorrect was for myself and shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.